Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Deej, the Dragon Gamer, and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be playing some Titan Quest. And it's time to go ahead and create a new character. I'm going to call it Deej. I'm going to make it a female, because why not? Uh, let's see. Tunic color, I'm going to make a reddish color, and... We're going to go ahead and... Wait, did I create a character? No, I didn't. Oh, I canceled. Okay, so, uh... This font is really, really, really fucking tiny. I don't know what's up with the UE and why it's so small, but this is the biggest I can make it while playing 4K. And also, this game does have... Fairly long loading times compared to other games. Uh, although that loading time was actually pretty quick. Uh, the game takes about 30 seconds to a minute to start up, which is kind of insane. And I'm playing on an SSD right now. Okay, so it's about time to start fighting. And we got ourselves... A boar and some satyrs. Nice. Now it's kind of hard to see my uh, stats because of how um, it's kind of hard to see my stats up here because of how small they are. Let's see if I can actually make that bigger. I don't think I can. I okay, so large. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's the biggest I can make it. I'll just have to deal with that right now. Now I hate how the music actually kind of cut out here. And let's go talk to this guy again. You saved my horse. Thank you. But I'm not the only one in trouble. Now look, uh, if I remember correctly, this game has where you can actually start quests just by running around and that's it. And now I love how she kind of... Uh, she kind of twirled her blade there for a sec. That was actually kind of cool. But yeah, I hope uh, somebody can actually increase the UE size using the Steam Workshop. That would actually be really, really useful. And also, I have no idea why, but I think the music audio went out. And you know what? We're going to set you back to four speakers again, even though I'm wearing headphones. There we go, the music's back, awesome. And I've noticed that there's some texture pop in right now. Am anybody else no notice that? Hello, Let's go talk to this guy. Diomedes, the leader of this small village. Do you mean to say that you fought your me? I don't give a shit what you have to say, man. I just want to kill things. And also, the map is really, really tiny. But I, I so far, I'm loving the music of this game. And I, uh, if you guys can't tell, I turned down the shadow resolution because I'm playing at 4K. And I noticed that the game actually stutters. It is not safe. What you the game here. the game actually stutters a bit when the shadow resolution is turned up to max which is actually pretty common for a, a lot of older games when you're playing at a high resolution okay so did you drop something I could use? And so far, nobody's dropped anything. Oh, okay, it's Z. I thought it was A to do it. Okay, never mind. Um, by the way, this game has where uh, loot does not show up by default. You actually have to press a hotkey to get it to show up, which is kind of annoying. Especially if you're first playing this game. I don't know why they decided to do that, 
but I'm going to go ahead and go back here and pick up some loot that I missed. Now I will say this game is actually pretty damn good looking, although running through people is kind of amusing. That is kind of bizarre, people. <laughs> that is really fucking bizarre. I don't know why the game's doing that. I'm not sure if the original game actually did that or not. But this is the anniversary edition update, and so far there are a couple of bugs, but they're not anything massively major or anything so far. Other than other than a full screen bug and a mouse bug. And I'm slowly healing right now. But yeah, there's a little bit of texture pop in. And I'm not sure what that's all about. But the reflections are cool. You know what? We're going to zoom in pretty close. And also I'm about to die. Oh, you bitch! Okay, and the game does slow down quite a bit when you die, and I'm not sure why it does that. And you know what? I'm going to try to turn the shadow quality back up to high, just to see what happens. I mean, it's probably not going to do much. But yeah, whenever you die, the game slows down a lot, and I'm not sure what that's all about. And I actually don't think I have any potions. No, I don't. Okay. There we go, poor hide. And I have no idea why my uh, why my loot stopped showing up like it's supposed to after I died. That's really weird. Also. Let's go ahead and equip a bow, and you're a better weapon, so let's go ahead and equip you. I wonder if I can dual wield. No, I can't. Ah, okay, so we got ourselves a couple of monster charms, nice. And also, uh, shadow quality being turned up to max actually isn't causing any problems at the moment but the camera did kind of did kind of slide there a bit I don't know if you guys saw that or not that was not because I uh... oh okay that's cool I don't know what that was about but anyways that was not because I rolled the mouse wheel okay I see it doesn't actually show loot all the time, which is kind of crazy. So you have to hit Z every time? That's pretty annoying. Maybe I'm missing something. Yeah, maybe I'm missing something, but I haven't seen any options in the options menu that actually, uh, that would actually allow you to automatically show loot. And right now I'm going to keep using my bow until uh, until I get some armor. Because these guys do quite a bit of damage. And I'm picking up way too many torches. I'll probably have to go back and sell them. Now from what I've read Awesome, we got some health potions, yes. From what I've read in this game, you actually, uh, whatever the enemy ca is carrying, that's what you pick up. So if you see a bow on them, that is the loot that they drop, which is kind of cool. But I wonder if that means that none of the enemies at the current moment actually have armor on them. Which would make a lot of sense, and also I got stuck there.
Okay, so I'm going to go back to town and sell some stuff and see if I can get some better gear. So far, this is a pretty bog standard. This is a pretty bog standard um, dungeon crawler. But I haven't played a massive amount of it. And also, let's go ahead and swap weapons. Oh, now that's actually really good. And I've noticed that there's no belts or anything. So I'm not sure where where the potions go. I'm guessing they just kind of chill in your inventory and that's it. I'm not sure if I like that. And I don't have enough money for anything that I absolutely want right now. But... Can I buy some health potions? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Anything here that I can buy? Nope. And so far the frame rate's pretty damn good. Oh, and you can still hold shift and attack in place. That's nice. And also we got ourselves some kind of flour meal. Awesome, and you thought you could sneak up on me. I see how it is. Now this game does not have a lot of blood or gore in it. It seems to be pretty tame compared to something like The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing, Final Cut, or uh, Dungeon Siege 2, both of which are other dungeon crawlers that I actually really, really, really enjoy. And uh, they both have massive amounts of gore and jibs and stuff. They are amazing. And you know what? I'm actually going to set you as my potion. Empty slot. There we go. I'm still, I think I'm still level one. I'm about to level up though. Oh, oh, we got some loot there, nice. Primitive chest. There we go, we leveled up. Ding, ding, ding. And I really don't care. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna talk to this guy just for shits and giggles. Time, the whole village sets to work in the fields. The crops must be gathered and properly stored. Oh, I see. So that's just a little bit of flavor text. Ooh, ooh, we got ourselves a gold item over there. So I'm guessing that's a magic item. It's time to level up. There's the skill tree. Okay, so how do I want to play hunting? The rogue defense nature. You know what? We're gonna play a nature class. Regrowth, Call of the Wild. Yes! There we go. We're going to be a dryad type class. And I'm going to set you the regrowth. And you are going to be an empty slot. You're going to be Call of the Wild. So there we go. We're going to summon ourselves a wolf. And I think I'm going to stick with bows for the time being. Now, one of the things that a lot of people may not like about games like this, especially uh, The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing, is the fact that these games have a tendency to be very slow and take their time. Which I don't mind. I actually like that about these types of games, but I can see why some people would find that annoying. I'm actually using a Sweet FX uh, preset right now, and I can actually turn it off if I need to, but I like it. What it does is it brings out the colors and also adds a little bit of anti-aliasing and some other stuff to the game, which it really, really needs. Now, if you exit the game and then you log, uh, log back into it, everything will respawn, which is really nice. I mean, 
that's what I expect from games like this. Although, unlike something like Diablo, this game is not randomized. All of the levels and areas are uh, handcrafted from what I've read. Which is something that some people may or may not like. I love how uh, you can actually hear people just chattering in the background. That's actually a better bow. But I can't use it because I don't have enough dexterity. Oh, okay. Cool, I didn't realize you could actually change your stats. Okay, good to know. I didn't realize this game had an auto sort. That's actually really useful. Uh, I don't have enough money to buy anything I really need, except for maybe a couple potions. And that's it. Now I've noticed that the shopkeeper actually still has all of the items I had sold him before. That's actually really, really cool. Wait, crude spear? Okay, so it's a slow weapon. Very slow. But the damage is actually really good. So let's see what happens okay, with a spear. And can I use a shield with a spear? Actually, let's see if I can do that. Yeah, I can. That's actually really, really useful knowledge. The question is, will I be throwing it or stabbing? Okay, I'm going to be stabbing. Gotcha. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put my bow back on. And let's go ahead and go back up here. And for some reason, my phone just restarted itself. I really need to get a new one. You know what? I'm going to swap my spear out for my bow and arrow. Need to heal. And this guy is about to go down. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so I guess there's no way to actually warp back to town, so I'm going to have to run. You defeated the powerful shaman? Astounding. Your victory. Thank you again, stranger. You're going in my stash because you are a level 8 what or level 8 armor okay so i'm going to play a little bit longer and then i'll call it quits on this video but yeah let's see if i can actually get to a waypoint or something if this game has waypoints i hope it does because if it doesn't that'd be really annoying and also, what's up with the meteor uh, meteor there? That's kind of weird. Okay, I'm not going to worry about you. Shrine of Healing. Okay. Wait, what? That's a dead end. Okay. I'm actually not sure where I'm supposed to go now. I really, really wish that this game had a run button like Diablo 2 did. That's actually one of the few things that I missed from Diablo 2. Like I was not a massive, massive, massive fan of the game. I mean it wasn't terrible, it just wasn't completely my cup of tea. But having a run button would be really, really nice. Oh, here's the waypoint. Okay. We were leading a flock okay. Home when a pack of satyrs attacked. Okay. So that's where I was supposed to go. So I found the waypoint, and like I said, I'm about to call it quits on the game for right now. And then I'll get around to uploading this video. Okay, so we got a couple more weapons. And what's down here? Okay, I thought I saw something, but never mind. 
battle shrine. I'm guessing that increases my damage. Oh wait, it seems to seems to increase my speed and my increase my speed and my shot speed. Okay. Or my attack speed. That's actually really cool. And you know what? I'm gonna pick up a knife again. And it doesn't seem like I can actually doesn't seem like an I can actually destroy pots and stuff in this game, which is kind of a bummer. Copper ball mace. Wait, what are you? Oh, I can't use you because I don't have enough strength. You know what? I'm gonna put you back on just in case. And let's auto sort. Well, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it quits on this game for right now. I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. If you guys enjoyed this gameplay video, please feel free to click that subscribe button and that like button, and I thank you for hanging out with me.